for me, good sir. I do not want to have your babies, especially not your test tube babies. The year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday, and now I'm going to be killed to death. This is the last day I have infirmary duty as well. The last day ever, period. Since I won't be coming back. <laughs> I totally deserve this. I've been such a jerkwad to everybody in this route. Been mean to Ryota. I've been mean to Yuya. I've been mean to Nanaki. I ate Yuya. Ah. Ah, the infirmary. And it is... Empty and silent. Which is always a good sign, right? You guys, let's go! The, the doctor's not here yet? No, and hopefully he'll never be here. The infirmary is quiet. And peaceful as always. Always Roskiro sees with the bird pun and things. Yes, continue. Towards my inevitable demise. The orderly rose of medicine, the neatly made bear. Crap. <sighs> There's a there's blood all over the place, isn't there? Uh, but here we are, we're just frolicking about the infirmary. Oh my gosh, the infirmary is so super magnificent with all of its death medicine and the creepy stuff that I'm not allowed to look at on the desk and the blood, the dried blood at the bottom of the sink. It's all good. It's all good, doctor. And the smell of bleach in the air? Huh? Oh gosh. Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. And being the inbred moron that I am, uh, I I'm gonna open those curtains. Why not? He might have, you know, we can always look on the bright side of things. Maybe, maybe the doctor just like spilled his garbage all over the bed in rage. Because he just loved us so much that he was like, oh, I don't know how to love her. And other references to Jesus Christ Superstar. I'm scared. No. I have truly become Goto from Phoenix right now. Red vision is not nice vision. <gasps> are stained brilliant red. At the foot of the bed sits a wash basin. It's liquid pink. Well, pink is a nice color, isn't it, me? He could just be playing around with wood coloring. <laughs> I used to do that as a child a lot. We're all good. With a stack of scissors coated in blood. And feathers in the bottom. No. The scissors part and the feathers part, I really can't justify that. I, I can't justify that at all. Ugh. The blood on the bed is still wet. Get out. If it's still wet, that means he's he's probably nearby and ready to kill you. So that means we leave. We get the hell out of here. <sighs> this is... The students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Oh, what a coincidence. That story was true. I never could have guessed that. Oh wait, no, I totally guessed that from the beginning, me. You were so stupid. You yeah. That mysterious smile that the doctor gave me when I asked him. I, I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I need to report it. To the police? I don't even know if there is birdie police in this world. Otherwise, they would have caught him years ago. Because he's so freaking obvious. Anyway, I need to get away. I need to get out of here before he... We're doomed. Uh, we're doomed. It's over. Game over, me. Game over. 
You're early today, Miss Howitz. <laughs> You're rather pale. Here, why don't you lie down? Oh man, I'm fading out, you guys. My head is so light. Sorry about that, people. Um, my mother just called me to dinner. But I'm back now! Hooray! Where were we? Oh yes, terrified, yes. D-d-doctor? This blood... Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He... Going home so soon? It won't open. Indeed, it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. The doctor you... You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments. Do you really need to ask that? After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I... I would never! Uh, yeah, yeah, you would. You, you so... You blatantly helped him several times, me. Don't try to deny it. I know we're creeped out and everything, but... Don't deny it. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of this semester, you helped me destroy little evidence. You brought back the idea of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. ID card solved. You really helped me then. We can't leave things like that lying around. Now can we? Yuya? What did you do to Yuya? Oh, I thought you'd figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Always. In here. The doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. The... Hooray for flashbacks! The big one is... Huh? It looks like a roast chicken. Or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm. You must have had it delivered in a hurry. Oh, me and my endless stupidity. Of course, technically speaking, he's been long since digested and absorbed into your body. So we really don't we don't really know where exactly where he is now, do we? That, that can't be No No How did he taste? I was worried he might be a little tough. I did not- I did so regret not having a better bird to send to you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That was you, yeah? Ah, ah, that's a beautiful face, Miss Always. I have longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And that you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. <sighs> That's lovely. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you. And yet you all came anyway. Uh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you need to kill me and stuff. You, I knew it. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No, I want to say, but my tongue feels it's like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. 
Maybe somewhere deep inside. I love the doctor. I'm afraid that I have room for only one life in my life. And that is research. Science! Science is his one true love. But it would be so cruel to end your earnest... To ignore your earnestness. So I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity. And I think I want to keep you by my side. Ah, that's so adorable, Shu. Forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me. So why can't I move? And so this is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let just such a rare sample slip by. So I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from him? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry. You won't go to waste. I will make sure you to examine your insides. Most intimately. Ah, that's adorable, Shu. You shouldn't have. Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left wing. I don't know if I should laugh or cry, because just the image of a pigeon carrying a cleaver is quite hysterical. But go on. You have chased after Desilua most diligently. Yeah, I'd say so. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now. Hooray for death and oh, blood everywhere. Oh my goodness. For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling. The wall, the floor. My eyes rolling widely, wildly. The world twists, soaked in red. How poetic of you, me. And so my life came to an end, cause I'm a total idiot.